Hello guys, welcome to the third tutorial of going back to Python basics. I'm Lenin and today we are going to talk about variables and string formatting in Python. What are variables? Variables are basically reserved memory location to store any kind of value. Whenever you create a variable in Python, you reserve some space in the memory based on the data type of the value that you have assigned to the variable. Here you can see my underscore name is a variable which has been assigned the value Lenin Mishra to, to it. It basically means currently my underscore name is storing a string. However, it can actually store anything you want. If you have some coding experiences with languages like C, C++, you'd realize that in those languages, you have to declare the data type of the variable at the beginning of your code. For example, int x equal to 10 or string my string equal to some random string however in python you don't have to do that you don't have to declare the data type of a variable at the beginning of your code you can declare value variables anywhere in your code and based on the data type of the value you assign the python interpreter allocates memory to the variable now what kind of data can uh, a variable store variables can store basically anything you can see here there is a variable called my underscore name which stores a string. There is a variable called first underscore number which stores an int. There is a variable that stores a float. You can store booleans in your variable. You can store a variable in your variable. You can basically assign anything to a variable. Now one thing to notice here is basically how I have declared the variables. Um, you can see that I am using lowercase letters with an underscore symbol between them. This is basically a kind of uh, style guide that I follow. If you go to style guide for Python uh, from PEP8, Python for an uh, enhancement program, you can see that they have described uh, uh, the best uh, naming style practices that you should follow. For example, here it is descriptive naming styles. It basically means whenever you declare a, declare a variable or a function or anything, it should it should be self descriptive people should be able to uh, have a little bit of an idea uh, they should be able to understand what exactly this function is doing or what exactly this variable is doing so basically it should be self descriptive you can see there are a lot of uh, styles that have been uh, declared here from lower case single case mixed case capitalized However, I tend to stick with these four cases, lowercase, lowercase with underscores, uppercase and uppercase, uh, uppercase with underscores. I try to follow this convention uh, in my codes and the uh, convention that I choose for any code, I try to maintain it throughout the code. Let's do some printing. Now, here I'm going to create a file called variables.py based on the video that I released uh, previous to this we know that uh, having comments uh, makes our code file self uh, descriptive uh, every time we come back to it we know what we have done here also the people who are referring to our code can know what we are trying to do so we'll just add some comments on top of the code we'll say experimenting with variables now let's just declare a bunch of variables let's say we declare my underscore name equal to Lenin Mishra uh, let's say first underscore number equal to 20 let's say second underscore number equal to 10 now let, let's declare this now let's print all of all of them we print my underscore name then we print first underscore number then we print second underscore number let's see how this works so yeah it prints all the three variables you can see Lenin Mishra 20 and 10 let's try to print, print all of them individually with some kind some context behind them so I can say print hi my name is comma my underscore name instead of writing my name I can just put the variable here from the print tutorial that had published you know we can put as many objects we want with a comma and then it will print all the objects with a uh, with a space between them so let's try this print 
you can see hi my name is Lenin Mishra it automatically printed my name I did have to I didn't have to write my name again within this string here now let's say we are writing something like hi my name is Lenin and I am from Amsterdam so then I can do is something like this and then say my name is Lenin and then uh, I have to put a full stop here dot I am from Amsterdam yeah I don't think this dot will work but let's just remove it let's just uh, put it like that yeah let's print this statement you can see hi my name is Lenin Mishra I am from Amsterdam no uh, if you if we keep using variables like this uh, it's gonna get really unreadable we have to think of a way in which we can write our print lines properly without having to you know uh, uh, separate them into different objects put commas because the more uh, we add uh, such commas uh, separate them into different objects the more unreadable it gets for that purpose we use string formatting now what is string formatting string formatting is basically that you can write a whole line without uh, 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 separating them into objects and you can use a, you can use a notation in your print statement where you can uh, declare the value that the notation are going to take for example let's say i want to type uh, print this line same line but better i can write print my name is let's say x I, i'm going to show you what i'm going, going to replace x with my name is x and i am no full stop i am from amsterdam now now what should we do if i print this it is going to say my name is x i am from amsterdam but we don't want x right uh, the one way is this like i have shown you here the other way is using string formatting instead of x we can say my name is percentage s percentage s is basically the string notation for any kind of variable that you want to replace here so if i write my name is percentage s and then after the double apostrophe uh, quotation mark here i can write i can put a percentage again and then within brackets I can put the variable name now let's print this see so now the variable name has replaced the percentage s and now we have my name is okay there's a error yeah my name is Lenin Mishra I am from Amsterdam so this is what string formatting is let's say we are trying to print numbers in our code in that case instead of using percentage s you are going to use percentage d hi uh, let's print hi the two numbers i have are percentage d and percentage d and then in the same format i can put a percentage after the quotation marks and then add first number second number let's see how this two works see hi the two numbers I have are 20 and 10 so basically every time you are trying to uh, 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 your variable has a string uh, you use percentage s every time you are trying uh, the numerical representation you have to use percentage D or percentage F percentage F is for float let's try that also here instead of let's say here instead of percentage d i say percentage f and percentage f let's see what result we get here we get you can see the two numbers i have are 20.000000 and 10. Point again 000000 that means the python uh, using percentage f notation we have uh, we have been able to convert convert two integer variables into float uh, into float values now let's say we don't want so many uh, digits after the decimal we just we are just interested in two decimals so how can we write this 
So what you can do is if you are interested in only two digits after the decimal here instead of percentage F you can write percentage 0.2 F. This basically means after every decimal I only want two digits and we can also do it here 0. percentage 0.2 F and let's try this out. See now we only have two digits after the decimal. You can, you can experiment it with it, you can say instead of 2, you can say I want 8 digits, you know, and if you print it, you are going to get 8 digits here. So this is how string formatting works, this, this makes our uh, uh, print statements more readable, uh, also uh, it's uh, easier to write print statements using string formatting rather than, you know, like this. Uh, you just keep putting commas, uh, you think about how you want to put a, a, a show, you know, like a full stop or an excl exclamation. Uh, it gets really weird. So in this case, we can write the whole statement uh, at a go and then we can just assign percentage S, percentage D or percentage F string notation, string formatting uh, notations in our print statement and we can just assign the values. and we have it, we, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Now let's look at one more way of how we can write print statements without using string formatting, but using a Python built-in function called format. Let's see how I can do this. Let's say I want to uh, write this line. Uh, actually, let's uh, let me copy this line. So this says my name is percentage s, I am from Amsterdam and then we use a percentage after it and uh, we assign the variable that we want uh, uh, to be replaced in the percentage s notation. So now instead of doing percentage s, I can say my name is curly brackets, open and close and here instead of percentage I can say after uh, the quotation mark ends, I can say dot format and then inside format I can put my the variable name my underscore name let's see how it works out see now also this print statement works my name is Lenin Mishra I am from Amsterdam this is how you can use a built-in function called format in Python to improve your print statements and you can have as many print statements uh, as many values inside it like this for example I am from instead of let's say I am from Amsterdam I have I can say I have this and this numbers so here I have three places where uh, uh, I have put uh, curly brackets so in in format I can go and after my name I can put first number second number and now let's see how this thing works See, now the format, uh, every curly bracket has been replaced with respectively the same variable name that we have assigned in order. So this is how the format function works. So to sum up, today we learnt about variables, string formatting and a Python built-in function called format. All of this is going to make your printing life a lot easier. I hope you learned something about variables. Basically you can store anything in, your vari in a variable. If you have any questions, Please let me know by putting them in the comment sections below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you can be notified every time a new tutorial is launched. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next tutorial.